Hey everyone, this is James with WS News. I want to bring you an important update here from the Gateway Pundit. The headline is, Democrat Senator Blumenthal warns that American people will be shocked, astonished, and appalled by report on Secret Service failures in Trump assassination attempt. Democrat Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut warned that the American public would be shocked, astonished, and appalled by the level of incompetence and failure within the Secret Service surrounding the July 13, 2024 assassination attempt on former President Trump. Trump almost got killed during a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania by Thomas Crooks, an armed assailant who somehow infiltrated the rally, climbed on rooftops, and fired off multiple shots. Crooks, who had been staking out the rally beforehand, was able to carry a gun onto a rooftop, leap between buildings, and crawl across a metal roof before launching his attack. According to Kimberly Cheadle, the former director of the Secret Service, security was a colossal failure. The Gateway Pundit has published exclusive reports indicating the assembled group yelling, which included local patriot Greg Smith. The group could see the sniper team on the second floor. Smith could also allegedly see that a second floor sniper team was watching crooks for half an hour prior to the shooting and doing nothing. Chilling texts, which were obtained by the New York Times from local law enforcement, detail the frantic communications of counter snipers. One of the counter snipers sent a message to his colleagues indicating that his shift was ending. At approximately 4.26 p.m., he observed a suspicious individual later identified as the assailant, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, sitting on a picnic table just 50 yards from the exit. He added that Crooks was sitting to the direct right on a picnic table about 50 yards from the exit, so that is in a message sent at 4.27 p.m. A little over 90 minutes before the gunman fired, the two other counter snipers responded with a thumbs up emoji and a roger that. Wow, so like nothing happened though. Since that dark day, there has been little explanation from authorities as to how such a catastrophic failure in security could have occurred. Even more damning is the revelation that former Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle and her agency reportedly denied repeated requests for increased security by worried agents assigned to Trump's detail. According to a whistleblower, these agents received only a two-hour online webinar as their preparation for the high-stakes event. So this is some of the Secret Service people that were acting here. The training was described as inadequate and with pre-recorded videos riddled with technical glitches, whilst their training wasn't even very good. Blumenthal, speaking to reporters on Capitol Hill, promised that an upcoming report on the incident will reveal damning details about the Secret Service's failures that day. So I thought this was an important update here from the Gateway Pundit. You know, let me know what you think about this here. We've got a Democrat senator coming out and warning people that, you know, Americans are going to be shocked, astonished, and appalled by this report on these failures of the Secret Service when President Trump almost got assassinated. So I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this, and I will talk to you soon.